Yeah, do. Look at this top. It has little cacti on it. It probably needs an iron. And it says, Look and shop. Good morning, friends. I'm Elizabeth of Earl Grey Crochet, and this will be part one of my December crochet update video. I'll be talking about all the things I've been working on throughout November in preparation for the Christmas market I'll be at this weekend. And then next week, hopefully, I'll do part two where I'll talk a bit more about like some stash enhancements and books I've received this month, as well as some of my plans going on throughout December. At the moment, I've got my mug. It is not a hot drink because it's really warm here at the moment, being Australia. And so it's an iced coffee. And it says, I bring you good news of great joy. A saviour has been born. He is Christ the Lord. It cracks me up that there's snowflakes on it though. Anyway, that is from Luke chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. And that is what the angels say to the shepherds after Jesus has been born. And then the shepherds go and visit him. It's very exciting. I love Christmas. So we'll be decorating probably next week. And then... We'll be decorating our small apartment, and then I'll probably have to put up the decorations at my parents' house too, because that's just what happens. Okay, so I'll start with the one thing I made or finished this month that was not for um, the market. I finished my Lyula. I'll actually, I'll include some pictures, because um, they're much better to see it. And... I know I was talking last time about how it didn't matter too much if I didn't finish by the date that Emma had set for the end of the crochet along because I probably wouldn't win a prize anyway. Turns out I did win a prize because Emma liked my picture so much, which is great. So, I mean, if you want to check out Emma, she's at Potter and Bloom. And so she's sending me a another cotton flowers cake, which is excellent because I thought about ordering another one because they are beautiful. Now on to things I've been making for the Christmas markets. I'll start with something you've seen some of before. I finished my Connie's Ray of Hope. Last time I think I was just up to this part. I attached it to, you can get these steel hoops from Spotlight. Um, this one is a 350mm hoop and I attached that and that, was, that last bit's really fiddly because you're trying to work around the hoop. And then I made a second one. So I'll have two of these available on Saturday. Um, by the way, because I forgot to mention it earlier, the details are it's 4 till 8 p.m. this coming Saturday at 275 Kira Street, if you're local. If not, you know, just don't worry about it. Something else I showed you last time was my granny square blanket. I finished it. Here it is. So what I ended up doing... I think I showed you, I put some little white squares on it, just to maybe make it a bit more of a normal ratio. And then I did a few rounds of US double crochet or UK treble crochet. And then I did this reverse single crochet or crab stitch border, which pretty much is just a single crochet if you don't know, but you work backwards. So if you're right-handed like me, it means instead of working right to left like you do with normal crochet stitches, this one you work left to right going back the other direction. I just think it's a nice way to finish off a blanket or anything really. Give it a finished edge and it's nothing too fancy. I thought about doing a lacy border, um, but with it being kind of baby-sized and very blue, um, and so if someone buys it, it'll probably be for a baby boy. Not that, you know, that has to be the case. It could be for a girl, but chances are it'll be for a boy. I figured a lacy border was probably not the best go. So I'm pretty happy with this one. So you might have seen on my Instagram, I made this beanie. And I've just got this faux fur, fur pom-pom on it. And I just picked this up from Kmart a few months ago as a keyring and I just took the keyring off and attached it to the beanie. Sounds pretty cute I reckon. If no one buys that I'd, I'd happily have it or give it as a gift to someone. I also made a second one but I didn't have another grey pom-pom and I didn't think the other colours I had would work so I just made a regular one. So there's my second one. Last time I showed you this little guy 
He's pretty cute. I had previously made these two in um, a thinner yarn, an 8 ply. Oh, turns out, I think last time I said this was a 12 ply yarn. I think it's just 10, actually. It's a 10 ply. Um, yeah, so I made these guys in 8 ply quite a while ago. Not this month. Um, but they will be at the market on Saturday. And this month I made a mint dinosaur, which I really like. I love this colour. This is, along with mustard, one of my new favourite colours. So, he's pretty big. He's the same yarn as this dinosaur, but um, my issues with tension continue. So, they're two different sizes. I also made a couple more little pouches. I think last time I showed you the blue ones. I made one in apricot and lemon. These are all Stylecraft Special DK, by the way. There's one in cream, and the string is fondant, and the bottom, I think, might be clematis. And then that other blue one, and then this one is, I think, possibly Kelly green and spring green. Anyway, yeah, they're pretty handy. I like them. You just pull the string, they have a flat bottom, and you can open it up. But it won't really come open by itself. It's pretty handy. Perhaps you've seen here, I also have a Lottie and Albert rainbow blanket. It's not actually finished though. Because I have to still sew in all the ends from the pom-poms. So that's one of my jobs for the next couple of days. That's what I'll be doing. However, I love this blanket. Look at it, it's gorgeous. What a great idea. So this is made, um, if you don't follow Lindsay over on Lottie and Albert, this is made using six strands of yarn all held together at once and a 20 millimeter crochet hook. So check it out. All those beautiful colors. And then pop bombs on the end. So she does have that as a free pattern on her blog or if you want more details about how to make it in different sizes or for a cushion or all sorts of things then she has a paid pattern on Etsy and I believe that also has a lot more photos um, and instructions about how to actually make it. I've also spent quite a bit of time making these little guys some little um, bag charms. Um, I'm not calling them key rings because they're handmade and I think if you put them on your keys I don't know just if people treat their keys the same way as I do then I feel like they'd kind of get a bit ruined. Anyway there's lots, there's 12 there at the moment. Um, they take me about half an hour each. So they're pretty quick to make. I might make one or two more. There's two mint ones you can see. I might make another pink one, if I get a chance. I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself over the next couple of days, because I do have a lot of stuff to sell. I just, and I probably won't sell it all. I just want to have options. And yeah, I've, I think I was talking about on my Instagram stories a few days ago, um, I've kind of been overwhelming myself this month trying to like create way too many options like so I wanted to make some Christmas decorations as well to sell that people might like but all the things I wanted to make were things I hadn't made before and so I suppose just make them um, would require more time to make sure I got it right yeah. okay I've got a few more things I've made to sell at the market but not that I made this month so I'll show you those as well I've got a few cows I'm not going to try one on because it's way too warm and muggy for that. I did design these myself actually and I specifically designed them to be kind of airy so that even in our mild winters that we have here it's not too hot and like it'll still breathe a bit even though you know apparently acrylic doesn't breathe or something. I don't know. Um, yeah so you know you won't be too hot in winter but it'll keep you a bit warm which is good because our winters don't get that cold really. So I think I showed you before, I have some jellyfish that aren't little bag charms. They're pretty cute. You also have a selection of these little flowers. This one's a sunshine that I will also stick or also attach um, chains to. So they can be bag charms as well. They're pretty cute. A bunch of them are sunflowers. There's a few different colors. This one still needs a mouth. I made this succulent too. Isn't he cute? This one took me a while. I wanted to make more, but the leaves are so fiddly that um, I just never got around to it. A little cactus. 
Um, I've got a couple more of these in the works actually, so I just need to make pots for them. And I've got this beautiful blue hexagon blanket. Also again, kind of like baby sized. It's pretty cute. It might be good for like a pram or stroller, whatever you call it, or a little um, a crib. I don't know, I don't have a baby. And then this blanket is a bit bigger. So I can't really show you the whole thing. I might have shown you before actually. I've called this one my sunset ripple blanket because it kind of fades from like blue, purple, pinks, and cream. Um, I haven't got a border on it at the moment and I kind of think it needs one. I think it works. I think it works well. I like it. Um, anyway, so I'll have these for sale, but I'm not 100% ex not really expecting it to sell, to be honest. And if it does sell, because if it does sell, I want it to sell, you know. It took me quite a while. I want it to sell for a decent price. So that's what I'll be putting on it. So I won't be surprised if that doesn't sell. Yeah, I've got lots of stuff. Lots of options. I'm trying to have lots of options from like, you know, the jellyfish will be $10, um, Australian, obviously, um, up to that blanket, which would be quite a bit more than that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to have lots of different options for people who want to spend different amounts on, you know, you can buy this for Christmas gifts or whatever. Anyway, so that's about it for now. I'll come back next week and share with you guys some of my stash enhancements, because believe it or not, I bought more yarn this month. I also received two books, two pattern books, which are very exciting. I'm pretty keen to get into those, probably not until next year. And then I also, I'll show you this real quick. My plan for aftermarket is I'm going to play Pikmin for ages because I haven't played video games in quite a while and I really like Pikmin um, on the Wii U. It's really adorable. Um, the kind of video games I like are mostly those cute animated ones that look like they're aimed at children. But, you know, that's what I like. So, if you don't know what Pikmin is, you um, are like some characters that land on a strange planet um, because your ship crashed. Oh, you're trying to find food for your home planet because you've destroyed your whole world. I suppose, kind of like what we're doing. But, anyway. Yeah, so you find you're these little people and you crash land on a planet and you find Pikmin, which are like these cute little things with flowers on their heads and some of them can like smash glass and some of them can swim and some of them can fly and yeah you've got to find lots of fruit it sounds really bizarre but it's actually pretty good um i originally heard about it by watching um hank green do let's plays of it on youtube so i'll link that down below if you want to check it out also after the market i have these two beauties that i'm trying to find one skein patterns for um, to make for Christmas presents. So Charlie and Faye, Faye's at the Crochet Circle podcast and Charlie's at charlie.co. I'll link them both below as well. Check them out. They're both lovely women. Um, they are running a crochet along, which I mean, I probably won't be participating in actually because it starts on Christmas Eve. And the idea is you make a project with 100 grams of yarn. Um, just, I suppose, to show um, people what you can make with one skein. Night, which is pretty cool um, but I will be using all of the pattern suggestions they're putting together and looking at them and deciding what to make out of these I might make um, the shawl I made earlier in the year which was the by the sea shawl I've thought about that um, but I would definitely be checking out all the suggestions they're putting together so this yarn if you don't remember is yarn I bought in Melbourne at Morris and Sons and it's the Allegria yarn from Manistel Uruguay and what it does what um, Manistel Uruguay does, um, it's translated as the hands of Uruguay, and Allegria means joy in Spanish, which is lovely. Anyway, they are a non-profit organization which assembles women in cooperatives scattered throughout the countryside of Uruguay. The aim of the organization is to bring economic and social opportunities to rural women, which is great. Um, so, I'll be turning each of these into Christmas presents, hopefully. So that's it for now. Make sure you tune in next week and I'll let you know how the market goes. Um, if you're local, make sure you come down and at least say hi, maybe buy something. Either from me or there's heaps of other vendors as well. There's like loads of handmade stuff. So like kids clothes and toys and some pottery and it looks like it'll be a good night. Good morning, friends. 
Good morning, friends. I'm Elizabeth of Ogre Crochet, and this is part going to be part. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm Elizabeth of Ogre Crochet, and this is going to be.